magnified, what is the lifted eye, ancient of days, mighty God, glorious Father, everlasting King. We give you praise, give you adoration. We worship your holy name. Yes, we adore your holy name. We magnify you, awesome God. We magnify you, glorious God, everlasting King, immortal Redeemer, the great I am, the only wise God, our Father. We worship your holy name. We adore your holy name. We magnify your holy name. We lift you high. Blessed be your name, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Father, we give you adoration. Blessed be your name. We bless you, Lord. Lord. Days. Blessed be your name. King of glory. Blessed be your name. Lord and Master. Blessed be your name. I am that I am. Blessed be your name. Ancient of days. We worship you. We adore you. We lift you high. Rose of Sharon. Bow of Gilead. Gilead of the Valley. Bright and morning star. Everlasting King. Everlasting Ruler. Ruler of all creation. The world who was and is and is to come. We never fail. We never change. We are worth a year and a The same yesterday. The same today. The same forevermore. Almighty Father. Almighty King. Almighty King. Almighty King. Who is thy like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonderful things, doing mighty wonders, doing great mighty things. We worship you, we exalt you, we enthrone you, we adore you, we magnify you, we bless you, Lord, you are holy, forever you are God, forever you are King, forever you are faithful, forever you are righteous, forever you are mightiness. Bless him your name, Almighty God. Forever you are King over all the earth. We exalt you, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Elyon, Jehovah El Olam. We magnify you, Jehovah the power to you. We give you praise, Jehovah Jireh. We lift you high, Jehovah Borel. We enthrone you, we adore you, Almighty God, awesome God. We give you adoration, Jehovah Esh. We lift you high, Jehovah El Diot. Be exalted, be magnified. God be praised, God be praised, God be praised, God be praised. You must seek you, you must seek out, we give you praise, you must seek. We are throwing you, you are seeking you, we lift your name on high, you are Yeshua, Yeshua Hamashiach, who bless your name, you are Abraham, you are Jacob, you are Yisra, you are throwing you, you are God, you are God, there is none like you, there is none besides you, none can stand against you, none can contain you, you rule, your eyes are all the one, you are the whole universe, 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 Oh uh -huh. 
say yes, you will do. There is no other God like you, Adonai. All power is in your hands. What you say, yes, you will do. There is no other God like you, Adonai. We say, Adonai. Thank you, Lord. But 
Hallelujah. Verse 1 of chapter 17 of the book of Genesis says, And when Abraham was 90 years old, <coughs> and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before, before me and be thy perfect. There is a stage, oh yes, before I go into that, um, this is sometime last year or two years ago, I think two years ago, Father uh, Pastor A. Levy was preaching a message, it was a series, Going Higher. And one of the things he taught us was the higher you go, the more careful you have to be. The higher you go, the more careful you have to be. The higher you go, the love is not as it was not. I pray God grant us understanding. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm wondering 
why at 99 years old after in verse in chapter 12 he had told him to leave his he enjoyed his family as you know and go to this mission i'm wondering why at 99 years old he's telling him before he even said what he wants him to do i'm also wondering why god had to introduce himself again perhaps at times we go to familiar with God and we forget who he is. Mm. I was watching mm. I was watching um, this series, husband and wife series, uh Aya the uh, series. And then there's this bishop, you know, who was addressing a young lady who he kind of that's the one manipulated to marry his son. Wow. That's the one. In some booze and drugs. Yep. And then she, so to say, now trapped, so to say. And she's like, she's tired, she's leaving. You know, she can't deal with it. And the marriage, the marriage was a sham in the first place. She was conniving to it. So I hid him the information. Now that we have to have to better look at the decision. Trying to make her believe she's the one to better his life. Okay. The next chill that he wants the son to be. Mm. To replace him as retiring as a Jew. But where I'm going to was when the girl was pouring out her heart to him, letting him realize he deceived her. You know, I, 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 I won't be missing what I said that was pride, telling her, don't forget who you are talking to. Wow. Hmm? Not at that point. You know, yes, you're a bishop, but this is somebody's life you just gambled with. That you just gambled with to get into a lifetime thing. Meanwhile, she had instructions to wait for the particular brother that God had for her. And God was working things out for the brother to still come for her. Anyway, <laughs> let's put that aside. But there are times. We get. The time it gets too familiar. Mm. Too familiar. Familiarize. With God. And, and I get what you're saying, ma. It's one of the things I, not, I was not comfortable with. Mm. I mean, marriage. I was not comfortable with this. And I don't mm. comfortable with this. This was one of our people in life. You guys can, you know, put something together. Uh, is he not fine? Is he a Christian? Mm. Is he not this? I don't have to do it. Come on. It's his way. Amen. Don't help us. I mean, just the Lord had to introduce himself to Abraham. He said, He said, uh, I am the Almighty God. Yes, he's, don't forget Abraham was called his friend. But at the same time, what is it? What is it? Say, you go me, you go with you. Sorry, how is it? Say it now. Huh? They are fools. It is a privilege when he draws us close, when he calls us friends. It's a privilege. It's not a right. It's not equality. Even Jesus Christ, he don't count himself equal with God. Hallelujah. Ah. In all what God has bestowed him and everything as his, as a son. He never counted himself equal with God. No, we say according to the word of God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, that are one. Then we say, count it not robbery to be equal with God. Count it not robbery to be equal, equal with God. Himself. And humble himself. Where are we going to with this? It says, walk before me and be perfect. Thou perfect. Following in God's steps and and quite I mean entails a lot. And I, I I speak from the point of a novice. Mm. I speak from the point of a novice who is all that people that have only shared a tip of the iceberg of what mm. they have. <laughs> what they have gone through. Let me put it that way. 
or what they are subjected to working according to God's leading. Yeah. And yet, they have known absolutely nothing, nothing about God. When I say absolutely, you say, oh, but you know a little now. It is still close up to looking at thing. Because somebody will still be there, I don't forget. He said, the God said, the Bible that we read, even if you know it to, to, to Revelation, we understand everything in it. We understand everything message God is passing through to us in this Bible in depth. As God wants us, the mind of God, the way God wants us to understand it. It is still nothing compared to it is still a drop of water to an ocean of who God is. Mm, hallelujah. The entirety of the Bible and the power it carries and the way it carries and the message it carries and the lessons to learn, they are still like a drop of water compared to who God really is. Hallelujah. Because of course, remember, we cannot, even, we cannot quantify His greatness. Hallelujah. So, what does it really entail to walk in his footsteps? What does it entail to follow in his steps? Follow God. Even Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow who? Christ. Christ. He says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. In this place, he mentioned what he requires. It is what we say is not possible. You might say, oh, no, this, that. And then, yes, we use that scripture that says we are all striving towards perfection. But God is telling us that it is possible to be perfect. Amen. Not for us to go and, you know, mm. make sure that say, ah, I'm perfect, I cannot make any error, or I don't have any error, that I give my life to Christ. In the past what, 10 years, I've been faithful to God. I've been 100 years. I've been 100, 100 years of ministry, of, <laughs> of no lying, of no deceit, of no error. <laughs> In this word it says, Be ye holy for I am holy. You know what I say? Be ye perfect, or be thou perfect, even as a heavenly father is perfect. Hmm. That standard. Standard. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nevertheless, uh, mm. the condition of God standing sure. Having this seal, this seal, the Lord knoweth those that are His. And let everyone and even the name of the Lord depart from him. Now, there are heights, mm. there are depths. Yes. It's what God wants to know that you know. Yes. A friend was sharing, a pastor was sharing how his mentor did not know that the fellow pastor and the ministry together, spirit filled, talk, talk, everything, he belongs to something. And they've known for years. And this pastor talking about is not a no mean pastor, no, this thing, this one is, those ones that Jim Jim, Jim and Glenn, like, you know, they don't even need to even shake their head and pray into the room. Receive from God about what issues message God has to somebody hmm. before you open what to say what you came for. He already knows why, he already knows to just say something. But well, he didn't know that the friend that is in this chamber that they're going out and everything. You don't go away to know the friend has taken some way and try to initiate him. But me and you, no, <laughs> and that was the last of them. Pew. That was the last of them. And they knew yeah. the people that they were working for and they learned and known as friends wow. for years. Wow. Man, they really did things to him years clearly. This clearly, this, that. No, man, they never pray out everything. But you didn't know. It's what God wants to know. Yeah. And you know. You know in parts. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows it all. Even when God reveals, you still don't know when. You don't know how he's going to do it. And one thing about him, he reveals in bits, yes. in parts. A little here, a little there. Eventually, you get to understand 
to the level I want oh, to understand. Yeah. Things that we don't understand. That's why we learn to obey without complaint. Because you know why we are obeying. <laughs> there are times it really helps us. It's been helping me to become restless or to do something that he wants us to do. Then it becomes a matter of urgency. It's not that I've been procrastinating. Because it's a matter of urgency. I will see the reason why. And it's messy. I think they enjoy it. You see, it brings a recovery. To what? You supposedly have lost. Following in his steps requires perfection. Now, will we say perfection in a day? No. It's a to so be perfect, you have to be diligent. Perfection requires diligence, requires determination, requires discipline. Yep. That word discipline. I need to carry it on my forehead, like, on my head like this. That word determination, I need to carry it on my head. And I will succeed in life, in ministry, in marriage, in finances. Hmm. So brethren, thank you for admonishing us tonight. And that's the most sort of words. Is which area are we giving excuses? of our imperfection, of, oh, God knows, you know, our little frame, mm. you know, mm. our frailty, you know, he knows we are in the flesh. Does he not know? He knows. Is that not true? It's true. But only because an excuse or a reason for us to deliberately mm. For those who don't understand what Potopoto is, Pardon me. Then he the bottle and put the leg in the bottle and say, hey, hey, hey. Uh, okay, man. Be careful. The bottle. The bottle. And you're wearing white. I don't expect it to be stained. <laughs> or I expect my God to wash it for you. Mm. Or protect it from getting stained. From getting stained, exactly. Yeah. To prevent it from getting stained. Oh, man. And again, each time we speak here, we keep telling us nobody is coming here to speak to you as a perfect being or as one who has attained, as our gospel will say. It's not fighting or running as if one has attained, but who is still pursuing something. They say if something, somebody is somebody running, is that right pursuing something or something is pursuing you? Yes, sir. Either way. Is running. Mm. And even when you think you have attained perfection, people are going to say, My son, you are doing well. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean you have attained. As long as you're still alive, there's always a goal to attain. There's always, there are always depths to reach, there are always heights to attain. But then, there's a lot of benefits in following in the steps. It requires discipline. It requires patience. (laughs) Patience. I shared with us how my dad was sharing with me, saying he was praying to God to give him a wife. I think I shared it here briefly one day. Praying to God to give him a wife. And, you know, we prayed, we brought the prayer up with the prayer group and we were praying for him. And they had not got the answer yet, but he took a step. Mm. My pastor once preached a message when God is silent. Hmm. Following the steps requires that even when you have spoken, when you have asked God, he has not answered. That's even the death. You know, by the grace of God, of the message of God, you are living right. Mm. Right? You're not having any guilt or sin in your heart, not because you are perfect, though. But you are praying. Yeah, right. You have shared here how Pastor Ian Dewey said that he did 40 days uh, 40 nights fasting and the what he was the mountain that he was praying for did not move. He started again. The wife was still doing with him. What is it not move? The third time again in a year. I think three times in a year. 
Does it mean he was not living right? Mm. Does it mean he was not living holy? He had things that he did me. So that time God can be silent over the issue. It could be a test to see if you take a step forward without him. Following in the steps. Just, I was not two days ago. There was an instruction I had to call you. No, no, two days ago. Yes, no, yesterday or today. Yesterday. An instruction I had to call you to say, how do I go about this? I don't want to just jump on it. And thank God for, you know, uh, I don't know what to say, so I will say it. <laughs> but thank God. Thank God for looking at it around my life. You know, um, with godly counsel. So, even when God reveals, even when God says, this is what you need to do, you still need to wait to know how to go about it. Following in the steps entails a lot. I talked about patience. Talk about listening and listening through and through, understanding and com receiving confirmation. It doesn't mean that the times he wants us to take a step and by delaying. Yes, I was to like that last year. And now, I'm saying that the day when uh, the Someone is going to that step. I'm seeing how some dates are aligning. I'm like, you know? Thank you, Lord. So there are times you to listen and confirm that this is God speaking, and then you know how, you are ready to know how to do it. There are times it is an instant instruction. You need to understand it. That will be the Holy Spirit to guide us. Yes. Following the step is not the thing of the flesh, not the thing of logic, not the thing of the of I know how to do it, or I know the scripture, I know the Bible. It that requires the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's something that requires the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It yes. requires the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. It requires diligence. It requires perfection. To get a perfection, it requires diligence. It requires patience. It requires discipline. It requires fasting and prayer. It requires studying. It requires one-on-one -on -one times with God. It requires understanding the mind of God and rushing those things. Mm. It requires seeing through God's eyes. Hallelujah. Yes. It requires godly counsel. What does have a spiritual father or mother to guide you is a bastard. Uh. Yes, we have a relationship with God. But God still requires it that will be under a man that, that is following him like Apostle Paul will say, follow me as I follow Christ. Mm. Following in his steps. Requires a lot. It requires a lot. It requires enduring trials. It requires enduring trying times. It requires enduring pains. It requires, you know, it's not by strength. All this is not by strength. It requires that. That you constantly be asking God for grace. Hey. Hey. Oh, no. oh. Because I constantly ask God for grace. It requires humility. Ah, thank you, Lord. As it takes you, as you're working with Him, it keeps taking you higher. The more of humility it requires of you. It requires selflessness. It's because you being broken, being dead to flesh, mm. being dead to the things of this world, being dead to your desires. It requires that you can, you can, you can make you a consultant of money and it will not change you. It requires that you can make you a consultant of power and it will not change you. Even though you say power intoxicates, absolute power intoxicates absolutely. 
He requires that his blessing will come to you and you don't use to rub others in the face. You don't see yourself as better than anybody. He requires nothing of the glory to him. When he's blessing you by following his instructions and his directions, we cannot exhaust the list. It requires a lot. It requires even our lives. This is reading our lives. It requires that we are we are ready to die for his cause. Following his steps. In his steps. In his steps. What is it that you cannot do? Mm. What is that thing that you cannot give up? Wife, children, money, status, position, rank, level, friends, what people will say about you, what people think, how people will see you. Mm. What is that thing? First Paul says, what shall separate us from the love of God? Concerning this industry, distributions, trials, you know, things in heaven, things on earth, things, to, things uh, that are past, things to come. What is that thing? Recession, poverty, lack, uh, abundance. What is that thing? Height, in position, demotion, promotion, what? Exactly. What we call delay or speed. What is that thing? So we hit us on putting the steps that will cause us to derail. There are times that we a lot of people are following the steps. And uh -uh, they are they are not familiar with the way God does things. Like, they don't make up for some things. They don't need to go for some things. Really? A lot of people started really well, yeah. following the steps, but they real. They started well, they were called by God. And they started well, yeah. but they real. But before they did real, they had a lot of followers. People have lived with them. People know they carried God. But when God let them be them, who can let that person? But they are following who is not following God. Tonight, I trust the Holy Spirit will let shit in our hearts even more as we meditate on this word on what it entails in our own personal case individually. What it entails to follow in this step. We cannot exhaust it. We cannot really. This topic of what it entails is too deep and too wide to cover. Because, <laughs> another thing I remember again, following the steps, <laughs> and just I will watch our mouth, and just silence, and just knowing a lot, I think it be quiet. I told you that I'm a novice in this topic. <laughs> you think I'm joking? The just knowing a lot as if you be quiet. Because I'm not allowed to say. The just seeing things playing out in your face like this. And people are surprised at why is this happening. People are worried what's happening. But I already know what's happening. And you see they come. The just knowing what is somebody what's going on in somebody's mind. The just knowing what somebody is lying to you. I think you can and smile with the person. There's a whole lot in depth and I'm possibly to teach us to establish in our hearts. That requires for us in the very following steps. And I pray tonight as we go to sleep, you will listen to us. You will give to us because of understanding. 
But more importantly, you got us the grace. The grace, super abundant grace that will see us through the requirements of following the steps. Because in the end, he will say to us, Welcome, my faithful servants. Enter into the name of Father. So that means for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise tonight, to the Lord. It's, it's too deep for us to cover. Yes, it is too wide. But you know all, and you know us individually, you know what it requires of us to please you and to do what you have us do. Follow me instead of you have us do. What would you take us to? What would you need to hold on? What would you to listen? What would you to talk? What would you to act? What would you to not to act? What would you to laugh? What would you to be quiet? And frown? What would you to pray? What would you to stop praying by the topic? But I will thank you. We pray Holy Spirit, we start to honor us. Establish it in our hearts. Teach us to love yourself. We must find that we share this message. Let me be credited to them as sharing this as as sharing the gospel. Amen. And let your blessing of hearing the gospel be in your word, be there as in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank Amen. you for answers to our prayers. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty, wonderful, and powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, it's announcement time, and something just dropped my heart again. That falling in the steps requires that people call you crazy. Because people call you wicked sometimes. Because people call you mumu sometimes. Mm-hmm. Fool, a fool. Because mm. people will abuse you and drop things on your face like this, I see. Not for their sake, but the sake of God. Mm. Yes. It's a whole man. We're excited tonight mm. to announce to you Ooh. that in two days' time, we will be having our February, and let me say special month because it's my month. Hallelujah. Our February in house worship. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Baby. Not just the reason, but the more reason also why excuse me, but I'm better. Yeah, I know. Amen. For this month as well, my month. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> of God's blessing in the way I could not even believe. I could not expect. I know this, you know, is the tip of the highest bug. It's gonna be coming up by 4 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, the 25th of February. 2024. Hallelujah. We'll be having our in house worship, our monthly in house worship. We Hallelujah. encourage you to tune in. Yes, Lord. Not join us, just tune in Hallelujah. and then join us. Amen. <laughs> First, tune in on your phone, on your TV, on your laptop, on your tablet. Tune in and join us in that awesome, wonderful time of just raising adoration to the Most High and as graces are meeting with His presence. Someone said, if you visit a president, there's no news. When the president visits you, there's news. So we gather to fellowship to watch the Almighty and He visits us. We know the news he makes in our lives. Thank you, Lord. We know the something that you see, but he announces Thank us. He makes us the head and not the tail. He makes us the center of attraction. He makes us what we never thought we could, we could be. Ha. Huh. Thank you. Join us on Sunday, 4 p.m. Central Time. For our inner worship. Hallelujah. Also a wonderful time. Yes. And I know one thing for sure. Testimonies upon testimonies upon Amen. Bound Amen. In, life Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. Friday next week we meet like this also, same time to share the word of God. Jesus. After a great time of worship, we pray and share the word of God. Please join us as we meet Friday next week. Also, um, we encourage you on our social media platforms, Facebook, 
Instagram, YouTube. We are called the Comforter Foundation. We encourage you to follow us, subscribe to our channel, like, share, comment. All right? So that this, those things help the videos to reach other people, to go wide to reach other people also. And we encourage or somebody has or somebody has been joining and we help them supporting us also as we have the outreach to the elderly because that's our, one of our major mandates. That's why it's called the foundation. It's called the foundation. It's a faith-based foundation. And as we come to worship and we share the word of God here, we also reach out to the elderly, bringing quality care and God's tender love to the elderly. And by the grace of God, not by pride or anything, a lot of people are getting blessed. Hallelujah. We are feeling their prayers here. Hallelujah. We are, we are feeling their prayers. Praise God. Your prayer. prayers, hey. they are bringing more. Uh, you know, Ivani, you can me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your prayers are praying for you. No, it's not praise, so the prayers <laughs> is being God's blessing for more to come. Hallelujah. So please, you want to partake in the blessing? Ma? <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> so, so, your prayers, I mean your support, <laughs> join us to share the blessing of this outreach. And I know the one who blesses, who owes no man, he will not owe you Amen. the reward Amen. of the support of your labor Amen. in the vineyard, financially, in the person, as God will you know, lead you to do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have any way you want to reach us, you can reach us through our email, the Comforter yes. Ministries 21 at gmail.com. The Comforter Ministries 21 at gmail.com. And the Lord God Almighty will bless you. Amen. Be a bountifully. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We hope to see you join us online on Sunday, 4 p.m. Is it two days? Two misses. Shall we share the grace? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen.